So good afternoon all. Uh, I am Sunny Prajapati. I am a PhD student in Raman Bhai Patel College of Pharmacy. Today I will talk on adverse drug reaction and prescribing pattern of anti-diabetic medication in type 2 diabetes patient. It's an observational ambispective study. So I will quickly move to uh, methodology. So uh, it's an observational ambispective study. Uh, which was conducted on 615 patients with T2D for evaluation of ADR and prescribing pattern of anti-diabetic drugs. Uh, study sites, uh, we have selected two sites. Uh, uh, first one is Reims, Godasar, Ahmedabad and second one is Rudrax, Baraja, Ahmedabad. Duration of the study was six months uh, from March 2022 to May 2022 and March to May 23. It's an ambispective study, so we have combined prospective phase and retrospective phase. So, of course, uh, we have obtained uh, ethics committee approval from Rudrax Hospital Ethics Committee. And uh, data we have collected age, sex, uh, height, weight, body mass index, duration of disease, diagnosis, comorbidities, prescribed medicines we have uh, recorded. And patients were followed up for different ADRs. And uh, causality relationship among ADR uh, was also evaluated considering WHO UMC criteria. Statistical analysis, uh, we have descriptively uh, summarized uh, using MS-365 software. So with respect to results, out of 615 total patients, 220 were identified with at least one ADR. That is 35.77%. If I talk about subgroups, then uh, female were uh, uh, 266 patients and male were 349. Out of 266, 100 female patients were identified at least one ADR and uh, if I talk about per, of course percentage of ADR is more in male because the patients are uh, more in uh, ma male more but if I talk about percentage of ADR occurrence then it is slightly higher in female patients. With respect to age distribution uh, the most ADR occurred was in the subgroup of 51 to 60 years of age with percentage of ADR occurrence is 37.02, followed by uh, subgroup 41 to 50, 61 to 70. Duration of disease. So, 0 to 5 years, I mean recently diagnosed T2DM, number of patients were 304, out of which 108 patients were identified with at least one ADR, and that is 49%, almost 49% of ADR in that subgroup. Uh, followed by 6 to 10 duration of disease, uh, 11 to 15 years, but uh, recently diagnosed patients were more. With respect to BMI distribution, of course, overweight patients has highest number of patients, that is 264, out of which 99 patients were identified with at least uh, one ADR, that is 45% in overall 220 patients diagnosed with ADR. Comorbidities, so T2DM is always, uh, 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 you know, comorbidity is associated. So we have highest number of uh, patients, that is 214 patients, which has at least one comorbidities. Of course, uh, patients are there with only T2DM plus uh, and uh, two uh, comorbidities and three and four, but uh, out of 615 patients uh, with one comorbidities, there are 214 patients. So in which 87 patients were identified with at least uh, one ADR. That is 39.55%. And if I talk about ADR occurrence, then it is 40.65%. That is also more in one comorbidity. Now I'll talk about the prescription pattern. So uh, often uh, in T2DM uh, patients, polypharmacy is used, I mean, various FDCs are used. So most frequently used FDCs, metformin, glimepiride, and pioglutazone. 380 patients were used, uh, were prescribed this particular medicine, and out of which 112 patients were identified with at least one ADR. If I talk about percentage, then it is 18.21, and it, uh, per percentage of patient with ADR is 50.91. Yeah, it is standard dose, man. How much? Um, how much standard? Mm -hmm. like what, is, for all? what is the dose of 
Yeah, I, I, I'll, uh, I'll evaluate more data you because. Uh, you finish first. Yeah. Uh, with respect to uh, ADR, so in this study, uh, I have identified total 32 types of ADRs with cumulative 424 incidents. So, uh, as I said, 35.8% was the ADR in this uh, study, so it definitely emphasized the importance of monitoring of ADR in T2D patients. Uh, ADR occurrence was slightly higher in female patients. 51 to 60 years uh, has the highest number of ADRs. 49.4% of patients have been diagnosed, diagnosed with T2D and with uh, uh, duration of diseases 0 to 5 years. ADR occurrence uh, for disease duration 11 to 15 years is highest 49.2% uh, uh, of percentage of ADR occurrence. Majority of uh, patients fall into overweight category and 65.9 patient had at least one or more comorbidities. Most frequently prescribed FTC is uh, uh, biogonide, uh, sulfonylurea and uh, TZD, uh, followed by uh, biogonide, alpha GI and sulfonylurea. So with respect to uh, wide range of antibiotic drug were prescribed to T, uh, T2DM patient with mostly, most commonly was biogonide, followed by DPP-4, and then TGD and sulfonylurea. Uh, uh, which were the ADRs? So most frequently ADR was observed that uh, GI, followed by weakness and tiredness. Of course, there was uh, uh, incidence of ADRs of uh, hypoglycemic events, headache, sleep disturbance, burning and painful urination, restlessness, uneasiness, decreased appetite, body ache, and pedal edema. All ADRs we have categorized as possible because uh, all the patients were uh, uh, prescribed one or more FDCs. So uh, this study has limitation, of course, because uh, two hospitals were selected and short duration of study only. So multicentric trial and large sample size would be required. So this is in brief. 37.6% is uh, uh, higher than uh, higher in uh, female. Metformin was the most prescribed drug. Uh, GI followed by weakness and tiredness is the most reported ADRs and FTC, uh, this FTC, bigonoid, sulfonylurea and TGD was most prescribed drug. 